What's up guys, it's the Middle Age Gamer here, bringing you another episode of Ship Simulator Extremes. And let's go ahead and go to play. We're going to be doing campaign. We're going to be doing the Greenpeace missions. As you can see, I've already beaten one and two. And we're going to be playing mission number three, Slippery Business. Uh, it says exploration, very easy, and it's in Rotterdam, which we've been playing the past two maps. And in the last 24 hours, a large number of stains have washed up on the shoreline. The Rainbow Warrior must get to the sea and help the authorities find the culprit. Good luck. So let's go ahead and get into it. Okay, just let it load up for a second real quick. Let's see, it looks like we're in a different place. Oh yeah, this is definitely different than what I'm used to as far as map wise. It says head out to the sea. Problem is where the hell is the sea? Let me zoom out here. Is it north, south? Who the hell knows? I just want us to head to that marker right there. Anyways, let's go ahead and add some waypoints here. I'm guessing that's me. Yeah, and I guess we gotta go down here, so let's make a couple waypoints. Four to be exact. And we need to go ahead and get or run more, whatever you want to call it here. Let's get this going. And make sure I don't want to hit the uh, the back end on anything. Let's go ahead and get this baby turned around. So of course, first objective is to head out to sea, as you can see in the top left here. And that's exactly what we're gonna do. Need to get turned around here and and go down this channel. Got some pretty nice buildings around us. And I don't want to hit this boat coming up there. Slow it down just a little bit while I'm turning. Just gonna get that off. And we need to make sure our running lights are on. Rainbow Warrior. And let's go ahead and put this full throttle. We can go ahead and hurry up here. Go ahead and turn off the HUD for a second. Pretend we're actually piloting the boat. Uh, 
Okay. Looks like we do have some lanes of traffic. And slightly overcast, a bit choppy as far as the water goes, especially considering we're inside of a channel. And you can always walk around the boat here if you want to. Tugboat right there. Pretty nice. Pretty nice graphics in my opinion. Alright. Go and get back to the exterior. I'll go ahead and probably fast forward it for you guys here in a minute. That way you're not watching a three hour video. Here we go. Alright, so that was pretty crazy. It looks like it just took me straight out to the sea. Pretty interesting. It says, follow the stains and use your binoculars to find the ship. Alright, not sure how to do either one of those. Or if you can even use binoculars. I'm not sure was that was I on the wrong map or something I don't really get it or did it just take me out all of a sudden there's no telling me so it's quite a mess we need to find the ship that's doing this although this area is heavy with traffic try following the stains and use your binoculars to spot the vessel I honestly don't see any stains and I have no flipping clue how to use the binoculars I do know the binoculars are in here. Let's see if we can pick them up. Why do I doubt we can pick them up? Yeah, see, I can't do crap with that. It's the only ship around. It has to be that ship. At least you would think that. So follow the stains and use your binoculars. Yeah, I don't see any stains. Is that staining of the ocean? I cannot tell. I honestly have no clue. Let's well, go ahead and speed this up. Let me catch up to this boat real fast. Okay, never mind. Just uh, went ahead and fixed the objective and turned the power down real quick. And we gotta deploy the rib, which is what we're gonna do. Go ahead and get on board the rip. Right there. And let's go get in the boat. Go ahead and move towards the ship.
pretty choppy seas outside. Return the rib to your ship. Okay. Go through the oil right here. Why not? sure we don't run into the boat here okay let's go ahead and put the rib back on there there we go and it says welcome back we'll go ahead and return to the port and dock at the designated area let's go ahead and find out where that is back out here <coughs> not sure where to go but we'll go ahead and put it back down here I think it's gonna bring us back into the other map when we get fairly close so let's go ahead and get this baby turned around This baby is absolutely fast at turning, as you can tell. I mean, just look at it. Would you look at it? <laughs> I still don't know how to use the binoculars. <coughs> if anybody else knows out there, feel free to let me know. get to the exterior make sure it's still turned in there keep that turned now let's go ahead and get to the exterior here <coughs> And let's go ahead and speed this up for your sake. Get to the uh, the next area. Okay, looks like we're getting back into the port, so the map does switch off, which is absolutely ridiculous in my opinion. But anyways, let me get back into this before I uh, get into a wreck. And, of course, we're going to be going there. Oh, four, five. I guess we're just going to be docking right on the side there, which is fine with me. Let's get zoomed in a bit there. So anyways, quite enjoying this game. Um, I don't like how the map just transferred back and forth from where we're at now to the other map. 
you would think being a boat simulator they could integrate the two with a couple lines of code but I guess that's neither here or there I don't really see them having too much competition at the moment <laughs> there's probably not enough people to play these type of games anyways so I'm gonna stop complaining at that so anyways just getting to the uh, to the dock right here luckily this is gonna be a fairly easy dock from what it looks like uh, compared to the last mission and are we getting pretty close four five and six yep I'm not gonna worry about fast forwarding at this time just cuz we're so close to um, the dock as it is anyways you guys are watching the middle-aged gamer I wanna appreciate you guys or I do appreciate you guys watching it and uh, feel free to leave comments on the YouTube page if you like if you have any suggestions for other videos go ahead and leave that as well I'll play pretty much any game except for Call of Duty and it looks like we're coming up pretty fast Ooh, ooh yeah really fast actually there's the dock right here uh, no is it I don't see the dock there at all. In fact, I don't even know if I'm supposed to dock there. Well, I didn't even have to dock. That's insane. Okay, well, I mean, that's easier than the last ones, but as you can see, we had to get two points to our green piece added. It took 21 minutes. And let's go ahead and view our reward. Look at that the Antarctic postcard amazing alright so that's pretty much it for